barely contained by its low gravity, Pluto's whisper-thin atmosphere is the first thing a visitor will encounter here. Well, we think the atmosphere is probably a bit like our atmosphere, made out of nitrogen, with some methane and maybe some uh, carbon dioxide. And then as you come down towards the surface, you probably encounter some layers of haze. But watch where you land. On summer days, the plutonian ice below will literally vaporize into thin air. You can think of the atmosphere being a bit like a frosty morning with evaporating stuff coming off an icy surface. Come winter, gentle plutonian breezes carry the atmosphere to the dark side, where it freezes and falls to the ground again. Camp out here, and you'll soon be covered in a dusting of nitrogen frost. The temperature there in the icy regions, which will be the coldest regions, is probably only about 40 degrees above absolute zero. Absolute zero, or minus 460 degrees Fahrenheit, is as cold as it can theoretically get. Summer days aren't much warmer, but it's during this time when Pluto's fragile atmosphere comes to life and is eroded away by the solar wind. It probably has lost maybe up to half a mile of ice over the age of the solar system, uh, which is kind of interesting. It means that when New Horizons flies by Pluto and takes close-up pictures, we might see what we call sublimation scarps, so huge cliffs left from where the ice has evaporated away. It could be that Pluto has spectacular cliffs like those seen on Uranus's moon, Miranda, carved by millions of years of seasonal erosion. We can actually, with a straight face, talk about trying to understand weather on Pluto. That's one of the most fantastic things for me in the last few years. <laughs>